Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a shimmery delay with Ableton's Grain Delay audio effect. It's a great way of filling space in your track and adding some sweet high harmonics that make your instruments stand out. We're going to do it on a piano, but you can also use it on synthesizers, pretty much all kinds of melodic elements. First off, let's listen to the track. I will solo the effect so that you can hear what difference it makes. Okay. Okay, so before we get into it, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. We've got a lot more coming up. And this organic house project we're looking at is part of our Organica pack and it's available in the link in the description. So we have done it on a piano. This is what it sounds like without the effect. You can see that the rack is called Really Cheap Piano. It's a sampled, multi-sampled actually instrument inside Ableton's sampler, but that's not but that's not what we're talking about in this tutorial. As you can see, we've got a bunch of effects. They are not adding any shimmer at all. So I have just put it all in an instrument rack and I'm folding it for now. And let's take a look at this grain delay. Maybe let's make it from scratch. I will fold it as well. And let's take a brand new instance of grain delay, drop it on this track. As you can see, we've also got a sidechain compressor, but it's doing very subtle pumping and um, it doesn't introduce any new harmonics. Right, so by default, this is what it's going to sound like. You can hear that's not yet what we're looking for, but the most important effect pretty much in uh, grain delay is this pitch control. If we take this all the way up, we are at 12 semitones and this is already, this should bring our sound up by an octave. That's not really a desirable effect. What you need to do to add a little bit of a shimmer instead of just pitching it up all the way is lower the frequency. Then as you can hear, this already sounds more like a delay. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses, spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. Now what we can do is add a little bit of a longer tail and we can do that by adding feedback and this is also going to add a little bit of even higher notes. So this already sounds really nice, really shimmery, and it's a great way of filling up space. But we are playing at 100% dry wet. We can mix in this in parallel with our original sound. So let's go down with the dry wet. And that's pretty much it. Let's listen back to the track. And it's a very simple effect, but you can use it on all kinds of sounds. Grain delay is also great on drums, but especially on melodic elements, you can really add a shimmery delay very easily and it really spices up the harmonics of your sound. Thanks for watching guys, consider checking out our Music Production Academy because we've got a lot of start to finish courses on there and they are both for beginners and for more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell as well and um, like and comment if you like this video and I will see you in the next one.